Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I want to show you guys one of my favorite places to run. It's at Sydney Liffey Park and Bicentennial Park. So yeah, let's go through some of the places I train at, I guess. And yeah. So here we have a pedestrian bridge that goes across Australia Avenue. And I usually go here to do hill sprints. See? I don't know if you guys can see the incline, but it is kind of steep. So here's another hill that I train at. Have a look. It's kind of steep. It's a bit curved though. But the surface is pretty good. So right now we're heading to the mangroves car park and it's quite flat and straight so it's pretty good for doing strides i guess or intervals have a look so all the way down there from here to down there is like around like i think 400 meters and it's quite flat see it's great for strides you know start slow and then speed up that kind of thing, you know? And even for warming up. And down the straight is where I normally do some stretching calisthenics, that kind of thing. So right now, we're heading down the strait to Waterbird Refuge. I'm not really sure what the path names are called, but yeah, it's kind of straight. Sort of heads towards Wentworth Point as well. So yeah, it's nice, it's peaceful. It's a bit narrow though, compared to the other side, which I'll go through soon, but yeah. So over there is the water bird refuge and if you're a fan of birds I guess, be on the lookout, yeah? Now we're heading onto the pathway straight to Rhodes. Uh, have a look. It's also where they have Rhodes Park Run, which I'll do a video soon. Uh, yeah, I used to do intervals here, 1k intervals, but like there's a part at the end where a hill starts, so I kind of stopped doing it. Got kind of lazy, but otherwise it's quite flat, it's wide, and the road's quite good as well. Yeah. Let's head to the roads, huh? Here's where I currently 
do my intervals, 1k intervals. It's relatively flat, it's kind of wide, and the ground's kind of even, so yeah. Here we go. Okay, never mind. I'm too tired to do those intervals. I did intervals the other day, so yeah. But yeah, it's relatively flat, as you can see. There's one more point over there. There's roads. And yeah, let's let's head to the end, and I'll show you the bridge over there. So I think about here is where the one kilometer mark is from the start of the course. So, and yeah, I like it because there's still enough space to do like a cool down. You know what I mean? Or like a recovery run and then head back and then start the interval again so yeah it's relatively flat the ground's a bit rough but it's, it's really nice so now we're heading to the end of the corso which is coming up soon and we're gonna head to that bridge up there it's called the John Whitten Bridge you can see there's a train on there right now and it connects you to Meadowbank Melrose Park, Ermington, and of course, I, I don't know if you can see, but like, Silverwater Bridge. We'll save that for another video, okay? <laughs> I'm a bit tired right now. So we're still on the course though, but now we're heading back to Benelong Bridge, which is that bridge there. And then that leads to Wentworth Point, and then we'll head along Paramount River to Silverwater Bridge. So here we are at the bridge, uh, it's relatively flat, it's not uphill, yeah, normally like to sprint across this but it can be quite packed as well, so be careful. Actually let's, let's try to run fast a bit I guess. Tired now, need to save some energy for the other places. All right, there's one point, Marina Square, if you can see. And yeah, hey, so now we're at the river walk, which is like a kind of long footpath alongside Paramount River that goes towards Silver Water Bridge from Wentworth Point. Along the way, we'll We'll stop at some points and I'll show you a few other routes I always I also take. In the next video I'll show you what's across that side of the bridge. You know, still water right on me and Pamana, but for now we're gonna to head to Newington Armory, which is just around the corner. Newington Armory. So it's one of those wide spaces that I really like as well. Initially, I used to think this was great for intervals, but you know, it's, the surface is kind of rough, and as you'll see soon, it feels like an uphill. It, it, it's straight. I think I think it's relatively flat. But I swear it's an uphill. It's a massive uphill. Yeah, all up there is an uphill. And like around 400 meters of it. But at the end, I normally turn left. And that leads to the Louise Sauvage pathway. So now, this will be the final route for today. We're heading on the Louise Sauvage Pathway. Uh, it's one of my favorite routes on, I don't know, this area. 
Oh uh, yeah, because it's kind of secluded. It's relatively wide, you know, and kind of flat. And there's only one crossing, road crossing, I guess. So it's quite nice. So yeah, let's head along it and see what's what's going on. So yeah, this pathway is about three and a half k's long. At the end of it, there's something called Hazem's Marker. It's like this massive hill that you know to climb up. It goes in like a circular motion upwards, like a spiral. And yeah, of course I'll show you guys at the end what that looks like. Uh, yeah. So the name Louis Sauvage Pathway is from an athlete in Australia. Like she was an Olympian, I think, back then, like a Paralympian. So like on a wheelchair and stuff. And growing up, I heard her name a few times. Like she represented Australia in like I don't know, Olympia, uh, the Olympics, Commonwealth Games, something like that. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, uh, I guess for a pathway to be named after her, she must be quite savage. You get it? Sauvage? Savage? No? Alright, I'll just keep running then. So yeah, at this pathway, I do all kinds of runs, long runs, easy runs, sometimes tempo runs, intervals, threshold runs, not hill runs because there's not many hills here, but yeah, it's quite versatile and, and I kind of like it. So I believe this is the path where Newington Armory goes to, and yeah. That's where I go to to cut my runs short, head back to the station, but let's keep going. So now we're approaching pretty much the only road crossing on this pathway. Uh, yeah, still got to be careful here. It's not too packed, but just be careful when you're crossing this road. Yeah, we're clear. So now we're heading towards the end of the Louise Sauvage pathway and I think it's more up there but like I don't really cross, I don't like crossing the road and going that way I usually just turn left here and then head, to, head towards the Haslam, Haslam's marker or towards the Sydney Olympics Park Station Yeah, let's head to the marker now So now we're at Haslam's marker uh, it's like a little swirly whirly thing spiral that goes all the way to the top I'll show you the views there soon but yeah feels like it, it goes on forever slight incline not bad workout a bit narrow though and the footpath can be a bit rough but I guess the view to the top is worth it yeah Just about head to the top now. And yeah, have a good It's breathtaking, eh? Yeah, it's pretty much all my favorite spots in Olympic Park slash. Bicentennial Park slash road slash Winter Point all that kind of stuff I, I don't know why I'd, I bundled them together today but yeah uh, kind of tired I didn't plan for this run to be this long I've done like 20 k's now uh, it's meant to be my rest day but should have planned it better yeah uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video I might have missed some spots if I did let me know down in the comments below you know and if you guys train here let me know as well I might come on a run with you guys I don't know or not <laughs> but yeah I'm, I'm usually here 
for long runs, tempo runs, all, all that kind of stuff. My training is usually at Liverpool Park, slash Bicentennial Park, slash roads, this, kind of, this whole kind of area, I guess. And yeah, uh, that's pretty much all I have to say for now. Remember, if you like the, if you like the video, make sure you like it, subscribe, you know, smash the notification bell button, and stay tuned for more videos to come. All right, see you guys.